I approach with the saunter of one used to heroism. My new friend bounces up and down, little fist pushed together over the chest. That was amazing. You're such a good hoverer, thanks. I hand the flower over to an excited gasp and grasping hands. As they tuck it delicately away, stem first, they tell me they're going to uh, they're going to dry it and keep it forever in a book they've started with their best best friend who lives nearby. They have nearly 50 flowers now, and are splitting the book in two so they might keep one half in each other's homes. In each of their homes. 50 flowers. This particular flower, they say, will go to their friend. She has looked at it many times and wished for it. And now that wish may be granted because a stranger came their way. I tell them it was a pleasure, and they gave me an unexpected hug above the waist. Thank you, thank you, thank you, this is the best. They aren't wrong. They dig around in their pocket for a moment and pull something out. I expected it to be a little bug or some dirt, or possibly an old toy. But instead, they produce an entertainer's badge. Here, you're really nice, so you can have this. Sick. I ask if they wouldn't prefer to hang on to it. There's plenty of use for such things later. I get a shake of the head. I think this one's for you. I'll get my own one day. I tell them I'm sure they will, and leave with a wave. See you later. Sick. I helped a person. Give me. No, I did. I already snatched it. Right, right, right. I gotta go to the middle of the town. Talk to Sandeep. Sandeep. It's talking about the huddled children giggle as I approach the way children do you're never quite sure whether they're entertained nervous or mocking I decide not to let myself feel judged you're a glider how do you know I saw your bike we can tell by your clothes I'm psychic You kids are smart. Do you want to play a game with us? Sure. Yay, the game is hide and seek. Do you know it? I think I might know it. I tell them I used to play with a young friend of mine back home. They don't seem particularly interested in the story. I never felt so old. Good, you're it. We'll go and hide and you'll have to find us. I tell them to wait. Once I, the great worldly wise glider, cunningly track them down, how can I call them out if I don't know their names? Ha, huh. don't be so sure you'll find us. This is our town, remember? Well, anyway, I'm Pala. And I'm Nez. Forgotten them already. I tell them my own name, then Pala points at me. Are you ready, Sable? You have to close your eyes and count to 100. 100. No peeking and no skipping. And count slowly. That's a very high number. I close my eyes and start counting. 1, 2, 3. 57, 58. 97, 98, 99. 100. Alright, it's time to find some children. There's no time limit, just gotta find the children within the city, I guess. It's a big ass city. I wonder if these kids have shitty hiding spots. Let's look in here first. I've got a feeling. Is that worm snoring? Might be. Oh, where are them children? Where are them children? Oh. Not 
the one I need to find. Pala, Jeff, and uh, Nez, I think it were. Damn it. Why did I get roped into like a high and seek thing right when I wanted to finish up the stream? <laughs> this is not what I had planned. This spot, it's clear. from Artie Sable, so... Oh, no, no. I already gave you the flower. It seems like they hadn't written a, um, a dialogue for after you found it, so... I'm, I'm spawning a few lazy things about this game. It really would benefit from a patch. And I no doubt that they probably will patch it in later, but... It looks too busy to interrupt. Watching him work is mesmerizing. Sands from different parts of the world forming different colors, textures, and strengths of glass. kids at now look like a villager from fucking Konoha from uh, like uh, the anime Naruto Naruto all right time to, time to scale the roofs time to look down <laughs> If they're on the roofs, I'm gonna be mad. Where are them fucking kids at? Frustrating. I reckon speedrunners, like, um, there's like a little thing where if you, um, jump into a corner, you kind of gain speed. I'm not quite sure how to do it consistently. But, um, it does speed you up significantly. And I'm, I'm wondering if there's like a way to perpetually do it. I'm unsure if anyone would want to speedrun this game, but I think it would actually be a tough game to speedrun because of the, um, the slowness of the camera movement. Oh, you're not a kid, damn it! Treasure though. Oh, is that one of you? Nice. 
Nice. Found one of the little shits. Okay. Oh, don't tell me. Okay. Uh, I thought the game was going to be like tricksy and just have me, um. Yeah. Have like quest quest markers. That that wouldn't be fair. That'd be a very cheaty game of hide and seek. There you are. Oh, damn it. Hind Seek's boring. Yep. We already went through there. I reckon there's got to be one near the town square. Imagine what could have happened if the power had stayed off much longer. I think I would have had to have leave town. Okay, yeah, cool. I already gave you money, I'm not giving you any more. You basically stole 50 cuts from me. Well. There's a little shit if ever I saw one. I thought this was a really good hiding spot. You're smart for a grown-up. I take the compliment. Alright, Pala. What the hell? Having a bit of a relax. Nice. Okay, she's done there. Pala is the last one standing. A hide and seek mission right when I wanted to cut the stream. God damn it. At least once I've done it, it's out of the way, potentially. That's Hammer. Where is the front? I'll just keep going this way. You're not hiding in a box or anything, are you? No. Okay. Mine. found me. Are you sure you counted all the way to 100? You found the others first? Yes, that means I win. The real victory is the fun you have with your friends. No, it's this. Entertainer's badge. Anyway, you're pretty fun for a grown-up, so you can have this badge. You need three of these, then you can wear the entertainer's mask. I thank them for the game and the badge, then say goodbye. As I leave, I feel a small pang in my heart. I miss Saima and the rest of the clan. I wonder what she'll think of me taking up the entertainer's mask. Hmm. Cool. I did it. Um. What 
other games? Do you know? Good. Uh, I thought they were going to say, do you want to play hide and seek again? I was like, please, please, no. What the? That's a big camel. That is a big camel. Ah, Glider, you did a brilliant job getting the power back on. I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a tremendous noise. The whole town was lighted. All in a day's work. Your work is appreciated and you are valued. Now. He leans in. How about our little investigation? Any useful evidence? What can I do for you, Sable? Discuss physical evidence. What did you find when you searched the heart? The window was smashed. I tell him that the window to the control room of the heart was smashed open and that's presumably how the culprit got inside. What did you find when you searched the heart? There was a feather on the ground. I tell him about the feather I saw on the, on the floor of the heart and suggest that the culprit may have left it behind. I say it may have been an accident and then I pause a moment with some drama and then whisper that it could also be a calling card. Sanip crossed his arms, nodding furiously. What did you find when such heart? I found a note. I tell him that I found a note on the floor, and that it listed the debts owed to the merchants. Was this left there on purpose, I wonder aloud, or did the foolish culprit drop it by accident? Sanip steeples his fingers with interest. There was no damage to the socket. I explained that the socket for the core was in perfect condition. Flawless, even to one such as myself, who is decidedly not an expert. I posit that whoever removed the court knew what they were doing and didn't want to damage it. Sandip seemed to like the sound of this. So, that is why, in my opinion, it's, um, Hamza. Let's go through the case against Hamza. What's his motive? He owed money. He was in debt to the merchants. They sent people to ransack his workshop to frighten him into paying up. How did he do it? He had the security code and key card. He had the security code, so he could just walk in this at all. What about the smashed window? Is that important? I'm not sure. Who do you want to discuss? You. He owed money. He understands machines. Iria is very. Iria is very powerful. We've had a very hard time building a strong case against her. What's her motive? To profit from the panic. Yes, people have definitely been stocking up since it happened. How did she do it? Hamza owes her money. I see, so she made him give her the key. What do you want to discuss? Climber Garay. Let's go through the case against Garay. What's his motive? Someone paid him to do it. He has a bad reputation in Ekria. People say you do anything for money. This is a good lead. How do you do it? He's a climber, he climbed. It's possible. I'm sure he managed to... I'm surprised he managed it with the slippery metal surface of the atomic heart. Shit. It was a group. You think it could have been a group effort? Sure. It's being down at Korea. That seems unlikely. The power being out is a difficulty, yes, but it's a temporary one. Sandip doesn't seem very impressed by my line of thinking. Discuss something else. Goodbye. There's more, isn't there? Ask around Ekria about the power cut. Shit, alright. I need more evidence. I need to talk to everyone in the town. Shit. Alright, we'll do it.
I gotta, I gotta get this one on the books. Uh huh. Yep. Are you just like walking in place? Can I like move you out? There you go, mate. There you go, mate. His pathing's kind of fucked. Who else can I talk to about the power cuts? Ray Ghosty! How you doing, sir? How are you doing? Let's get a cheer. Gray. As well as a shout out. Because why not? What were you playing recently? The last stream I watched you play was that, um, time you were playing uh, Deepest Dungeon on your TV. So it's been a hot minute. Why aren't you watching Traz? And before you say anything, I know you've probably got Traz open in another tab. <laughs> so, it's all good. In fact, when I end my stream, I'm probably going to watch Traz. I've been playing so much. So much uh, Deepest Dungeon or Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like a cool game. Like, it's got that, um... What do you call it? It's not roguelite. It's like, um, you know, a lot of replayability because the, the loot's randomized and all that sort of stuff. Any idea why someone might have taken the call? Whatever the reason, it's terrible. been terrible for business, okay? Where were you? Same place I am every day, here in the cafe. Mm, who do you think did it? Oh wait, was Gary in your cafe when the power went out? Rita shakes her head, which makes the answer a surprise. Oh yes, yes, he was definitely here. Getting to his usual trouble, showing up drunk, barking an insult at some poor patron, and before I know it, about to break up another fist fight. Hey, Garay's got an alibi. I thank you for the information, apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, it's not a problem. But if you see that awful around, you tell him he owes me for the broken glass. Okay. Logo, is that it? I'll make you a character. Logi? So, it came from my old nick, um, Logicost. Made up of two words, Logic and Ost. You know, Ost from Australia, and Logic meaning, you know, logical guy from Australia. But it sounds too close to another word, literally Holocaust. So I thought, no, better not do that anymore. So I decided, well, okay, let's change it. But I, I do kind of like the word Logic. Um... So I just changed it to Logi. But, um, would you believe a four-letter nickname is rather difficult to get? And so I came up with this combination. So instead of using a G, I used a 9. So it kind of it kind of looks like a G if you look at it, you know, sideways with a squint. So, but yeah, I, I like how it's turned out. It's turned out like people call me, like, you know, fucking Logitech. Um, Logi, Low9, all sorts of things. And I, I think that's pretty cool. It's like I, um, based on the way that they say it, I can wear like a different hat each time. So, it's kind of worked out. So yeah, in other words, you can call me whatever pronunciation of those four characters uh, you want. Grey. And I won't be offended. I'll find it kind of interesting. Who do you think did it? If people coming and going every day, it could be anyone. You be you, that's my thing. My thing too. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to stream. That's a um not enough credits thing. He's got a kid rock alert. Kid Rock. Yeah. So now I'm I'm finishing up this um first playthrough of Sable. 
I'm trying to figure out, um, like, more information so I can make, like, a solid accusation. So it looks like, um, the scummy one that we thought, oh, maybe he's part of it. He's got an ironclad alibi. Bless Rohana, the power back online just in time. I had two early stage babies in wombs that could have run out in days. Hmm, okay. So this game is apparently based in a dystopian future of um, actual Earth. Because in one of the uh, atomic ships that I investigated, it had designed in London in it. I'm gonna put some Kid Rock on the stream later now. <laughs> okay. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. Um, shit. Who do I talk to now? I like how this game's also got like a, a time system. In the um, the bottom right, you can see that it's two in the morning, and also the weather changes. You have a plan. Gray is the man with the plan. Have I been here? No, I don't think I've been in here before. Fabric. Ah. What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> Thank you. All right, what we got here? I don't got much money. Huh. I mean, it's pretty sweet. It's legit, but I don't have enough money. I gotta, I gotta get more money. And, and, oh wait, can, can you talk to me about, uh, who you think did it? Well, I can, okay. This is Kalia Clothing, and this is my shop. I'm Kalia, in case you didn't get that. I came to Ecria during my gliding, and saw a little run-down leather shop here. Nobody cared for it, and I couldn't help, and I couldn't help strike a deal with the old owners to take it off their hands. Now, I'm still learning the trade, but the locals and travelers seem to like what I'm selling. I even started selling some traditional Ecrian clothing recently. If you wear it around here, I'm positive the Ecrians will take you as one of their own. See you next time. Alright. So I think, like, next stream... Uh, I think, okay, so... My next streams are going to be, like, you know, Saturday, Sunday. And I think the next stream won't be Sable. But it will probably be on Sunday. It just depends on how, how I feel. But, um, you know, I might want to get straight back into Sable. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe get back into the Pokemon Blue? I don't know. Alright. I'm not going to give you any more cuts. No more cuts. Bow -bow. Alright. Yeah, we can go through here. Do you have opinions? No. Do you have opinions? No. No one here has opinions? Oh, wait, wait. Do you have an opinion? Alright, maybe go back up in here. Oh, no, we already talked to her. We already talked to her. Chickens, though. I don't think it's so boring. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing in here. Front of town again. There he is. Now 
now. Uh, review suspects. He sold it, someone paid him to do it. Um, he sold it. But he's going to alibi. Okay, so Iria, she said that she was, um, did she also say she was in the cafe? Mmm. Hamza said that he was sleeping in his, um, in his shop. There's a group. Not sure. I reckon that's where it's leading, like, it was a group effort. Yeah. I want to do good for this quest. Wait, wait, wait. Ask around. Okay, so wait. We've got markers. Oh, okay. That makes things a little bit easier. Oh, wait. Is it literally him? Is it literally him, game? That's gross. This game's kind of glitchy. Yeah. Alright. I thought I had an out then. Shit. Talk to him. What the hell was that? What was that? What was that, young lady? Where are you? N what? Okay. All right, we're just vibing now. We vibing. Oh wait, she's actually moving without the stamina going down. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, get out of it. Or you, like, literally glitched up and I can't do anything. Yep. Yeah. Cool. She's literally glitched through the floor and I can't do anything. Let's get to a, the nearest wall so I can kind of unglitch you. Come on. Come on. Oh, you fucking kidding me. She's gonna... Good. This is not good. Shit. Like, I'm, I'm fully glitched. <laughs> Damn it. I'll just hide in the corner. Oh, wait, there we are. Oh, you dumb bitch. You got any opinions on who stole the power core? No? Wonderful. 